Hey, glad you're up. Let's, let's talk a little politics. From former Governor Jeb Bush attacking Donald Trump to Governor Chris Christie returning to the main stage, there were plenty of memorable moments with the Republican candidates when they took the stage at the CNN debate on uh, the other night. But who really came out on top? Joining us now, Lee Carter from Atlantsky Partners. He, she put it to the dials, and she gave us all a test on some of the bigger moments of the big debate. Welcome back, Lee. Thanks so much. The first, uh, the first bite you want to bring us to is Trump versus Bush. Yep. They sparred a little bit. Let's take a look at who you thought came out on top from independents, Republicans, as well as Democrats. You're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is real tough. Listen, you're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting Jeb, yeah? your way to well, the let's presidency. Let's see, I'm at 42 and you're at 3, so Doesn't so matter. far I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. So far I'm doing better. You know, you started off over here, Jeb. You're moving over further and further. Pretty soon you're going to be off the end. So I uh, got ugly quick, and Jeb Bush did initiate the battle. He absolutely did. I mean, one of the participants that we talked to said, I think Bush must be the sacrificial lamb right now. He must be going out there and saying, the only thing I can do is take Trump down, and he's trying to go after him, and it just did not work. It made him seem weak. Okay, so the GOP looked at Bush, and they said, if you're a Republican, would you think? Uh, he gave him a D. Mm -hmm. Democrats gave him an F. Look at independents. They gave him a passing grade, so a little bit higher. Yeah, absolutely. And it was a little bit surprising, but independents, I think, aren't so sure about Trump. Um, and we saw across the board, Trump's response, as crazy as it was, was to see across the board. Dial started to come back up. For the GOP, Dems, and independents. All right, now let's go to Governor Chris Christie. I thought he had a really good debate. He's always been solid, but this time he's on the main stage with eight others. Here he is talking about his philosophy on making decisions. If your eyes are glazing over like mine, this is what it's like to be on the floor of the United States Senate. <laughs> I mean, endless debates about how many angels on the head of a pin from people who've never had to make a consequential decision in an executive position. The fact is, for seven years, I had to make these decisions after 9-11. Make a decision about how to proceed forward with an investigation or how to pull back, whether to use certain actionable intelligence or whether not to. All right, uh, give us the grades. So the grades, um, Republicans gave him a B, Independents a C, Democrats um, gave him a D, but what we saw overall was, I mean, you saw that split, but one of the things, Christie had to have a really big night, he did, and what we heard from Democrats is that they like Christie and Rubio the best of all of the Republican candidates. He had to have a big night, he did. And now you look for Democrat pundits to say the, how bad they're doing because they want to try to eliminate him. Now, Ted Cruz also had a night in which he was center stage. He got more time than anybody else. Here he talks about a America and his vision, including uh, fighting terror. America can win again and we will win again. Ronald Reagan reignited the American economy, rebuilt the military, bankrupted the Soviet Union and defeated Soviet communism. I will do the same thing, cutting taxes, cutting regulation, unleashing small businesses and rebuilding the military to defeat radical Islamic terrorism. All right. The grades? The grades, you saw Republicans absolutely at the highest they could go. Highest styles of the night, they gave them an A. Democrats, Dem an F. Independents, a B. All right, Lee Carter, thanks so much. Always fantastic.